not least, and there's Jane. She calls herself fierce and fabulous. Well, she's definitely got the first part right. I'm going to call her Miss Boss. She don't care. My name is Jane, and I live in Miami Beach, Florida. Us Cuban women, we just don't take from nobody. I think I intimidate men, and I get that a lot, that you look very bitchy. If you push that button right there is when I come out, and I just become a crazy psycho. Pretty much just don't get on my bad side. Recently, I broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm kind of lonely. I don't want to be alone. I thought I'd be married by now. I miss having someone that I come home to and, and tell him about my days, and we talk about our days together. I need a real man. I want a real man. I want a hero. That's what I want. I wasn't thinking about the guys. I was not attracted to any of them. To me, they were just minions. To me, they were just minions. To me, they were just minions. Jane. I gotta be honest with you. You look angry. <laughs> Seriously, I look at you and you look mean. Steve has met his match. And me and him are gonna come together and butt heads. We are not. We are not. We are not. Our man is our life, and we'll totally stand by our man. But once you go and do something stupid, we're gonna become crazy f psychos. Our man is our life, and we'll totally stand by our man. But once you go and do something stupid, we're gonna become crazy f psychos. Like, okay. And then I'm like, who's here? Who's here? Who's the fifth? Five people. Look at that tiny ass bed. Like, seriously? That's me? I don't know. Right I'm asking. Is that you? Yep. Boom. Dead center, Jane. Like, she called herself psycho. I was very like, oh, shh, crap. Coming up on Tough Love Miami. Tell me what you thought of Jane. Coming through like that so loud, it's like, that's not feminine, man. Yeah, how you usually say the ugly chicks say, oh, she had a nice personality? Well, she's got none. Yes, yeah, yes. I'm sorry, I'm not ugly. It's like, f you guys. All right, tell me what f you guys. All right, tell me what f you guys. All right, tell me what. I wasn't shocked with what they said. Jane, they just felt like you were going into battle. I mean, am I far off? Really? I'm getting an expert advice from a doorman, from a bartender? from a douchebag. I never said they were experts. This is just a little insight into kind of how the male mind works. After hearing um, what the guys were saying about me not being attractive, not being feminine enough, I decided to be like, you know what? I'm proving you guys wrong. Hi, hi, hi. Wow, Jane actually looks feminine. And the men, they're noticing her confidence instead of her arrogance. Okay. I'll be 25. And your parents live, oh, you live with Boca. your parents in Boca. That's right. When David already told me he's 24 and living at home, I was completely already already bored with our conversation. I could have just told him, hi, honey, we have absolutely nothing in common. I gotta go. Barbecues and everything. It was a lot of fun. Right then and there, I saw Claudia by herself, and I'm like, maybe Claudia can like save me for a minute. I could be talking to this guy, but I'm sorry. You want to go to the bathroom? Enjoy the bathroom. Back. Thank you. Jane needs a serious attitude lobotomy. I didn't set her up with this guy. She picked him. And now she's ignoring him? That's just flat out rude. He's 24 years old. He lives at home with his parents. I cannot <laughs> deal. What? She went to the bathroom to get away from her date. We have absolutely nothing in common. I guess chicks before <laughs> I've seen more than enough. Some of the women took my advice to heart. Let's get started. Jane, how did you think the date went? Once he told me that he was 24 and he lived at home with his parents, that's when I was like, boom, boom, boom. Tuned him out. I want to show you some feedback. She's cocky. She's sarcastic. You know, I saw like a uh, roll of the eyes. I caught it. All of a sudden, this cage came down and I was in a Latina tag team wrestling match and I was feeling like I was being attacked a little. So this is about disrespecting somebody and not giving a about it then you're disrespecting me and that's what i have a problem with you just didn't give it anymore about the challenge pretty much yeah pretty much well i appreciate your honesty oh yeah good because i'm not going to match you for a while now i'm not going to waste my time working with somebody who's going to try to make a joke out of this i need to make this really clear this isn't a candy store you're not just going to be able to walk through and peruse the shelves and pick out your favorite flavor this is a boot camp it's about doing the work. 